The Pearl of the Pacific, the independent nation of Samoa, consists of two main islands, Upolu and Sawai, as well as seven small islands. The islands comprise almost wholly of volcanic rocks with coral reefs forming in some coastal areas. The country has a total population of approximately 180,000 and a total land area of 2,850 kilometres squared. Eighty per cent of which is customarily owned. Organised and based around village life, Samoan society is governed by the Westminster system and for Asamoa, literally translated as the ways of Samoa. In Samoa, surface water and groundwater are used for water supply, hydropower, recreational and industrial use. In Upolu there are a great number of surface water resources. In contrast, Sawai water supply are from groundwater sources, while 10% of Sawai residents rely on rainwater tanks. Sakawa is a village in Sawai and is situated at the northwestern end of the island. The climate here is hot and dry with many of the 874 villages settling upon the volcanic rock. Like many villages in Sawai, the main water supply is from a groundwater source as well as rainwater tanks. With very little rain, it is a challenge for many who rely solely on rainwater tanks. Today we investigate how water is managed at the village level and the challenges faced by villagers who have little or no access to running water. Like all villages in Samoa, Sakawa is ruled and governed by the chief system. In it sits the village council which consists of matai or high chiefs who are representatives of each village family. <laughs> A subgroup under the village council is the village committee. While the village council are the policy makers, it is the committee which regulates the village. The Tole Lea, another subgroup, also participates in the committee. Referred to as the strength of the village, they enforce and implement the rules and bylaws set by the committee. Although men are overrepresented in both the Tole Lea and village committee subgroups, the women have their own subgroup called Faletua and Tosi, which play a vital role in the village.
While the Women's Committee and the Tole Le'a are vital in maintaining the well-being of the village, the responsibility of monitoring the water pipe system installed by Samoa Water Authority rests with the committee. In the past, the coastal spring was used for water collection. Now, water is supplied from a borehole which is pumped using a water pump installed by Samoa Water Authority. After living in the village, Fetu and his family moved inland, where water supply is intermittent. To help alleviate the intermittent water supply, rainwater tanks are needed for all households in the village. For families like Fusipawa who live further inland where the pipes do not reach, they are forced to conserve water, which in turn presents a multitude of health risks. 
Tosi and her husband live further inland. Their decision to sacrifice their access to running water was made in order to provide food and an income for her family. This is a harsh reality for many of the villagers who live inland. Having their land of their own to grow food for their daily needs is a priority as opposed to the supply of running water. Although Saitawa Village are excelling in their efforts to manage the limited water available, there is a need for further development in order to reach those who live away from the main water supply. Until there is an integration of resources to address livelihood for food security, Families like Fusipawa and Tosi'i will continue to willingly accept the difficulties of sourcing water in order to enhance their economic means, and community participation in integrated water resource management will continue to be unachievable.